for completely forgetting about this video. Um, <laughs> so I apologize that I forgot about this. Um, anyway, so, yeah, this is the Steve Harrington ex-listener, well, abandonment issues listener, that, if you remember a while back, I did a video, like, exactly like this, but it was Eddie and Stone of Snape, so I thought it was Dave version this time, when you overhear some people gossiping and saying how Steve is gonna leave you, and you don't want to believe them, obviously, but, you know, you do, <laughs> and you sort of get really scared that what they're saying might be true, so you act down for the rest of the day, like, you're obviously just very sad for the rest of the day, and Steve's like, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? What's happening with you? And then you tell him how, you know, the kids at school have been saying stuff, and he's like, oh, hell no. So, yeah. Hope you're enjoying. That is the last time I sit through another one of Mr. Baker's lectures. I am not putting through with that again. Wow, English class does suck here. I mean, you're lucky you're graduating this year. I mean, like, the others are way more lucky because they graduated, what, like, last year? <laughs> I mean, like, how has it been with you and Steve? I mean, I know, like, you know, he's not wanting to go to college and then there's you graduating this year. I mean, still going to school. I mean, how's that going for you guys? I'm glad you guys are putting through with it. Do I think what's weird? But no, it's not weird. I mean, like, yeah, Steve could have gone to college, but he didn't spend more time with you when you're still in high school. But it just make it weird if he's graduated and then you're still in high school. How does it make it weird? I mean, it's only what? Like, you're only a year apart, so it's not weird at all. You need to stop overthinking stuff. It's completely fine, okay? It's normal. Don't worry about it. Be worried too much. <laughs> anyway, um, I gotta go meet Dustin. We have math together. And I don't want him to get mad at me for being late. You know, Dustin, he always wants to be on time, so... <laughs> I'll see you later. So, Max leaves, and you are still standing by your locker, you know, getting the, all the things you need for your next class. And then you overhear some students talking about you. Oh my god, wait. Like, did you guys hear that Cameron and Jessica broke up? What? They broke up? Seriously? Yeah. Apparently Cameron cheated on her. There is no fucking way. That's crazy. Why would Cameron cheat on her? Jessica's so sweet. Yeah, I know. Just got this really bad feeling that Cameron was seeing someone else. Aren't those guys like what? They have like a two year age difference? Isn't that kind of illegal? Because it's kind of like an adult now? Because you know, when you're 18, you're kind of like an adult. And she's 16. I guess it is a little weird, but like still. I know who else might be breaking up soon. Oh. Steven Listener. Steven Listener? You mean like Steve Harrington? And that listener over there yeah just why i have to keep quiet apparently he's breaking up with her to go back with his ex-girlfriend <laughs> what wait nancy the slow wheeler <laughs> i thought it was over apparently not i guess nancy just can't get too much like enough for herself <laughs> yeah i mean like first jonathan byers the creep you know, they carry around, carries around the camera all the time. And now she wants to go back to Steve. Wow, she really is a slut. <laughs> yeah, tell us something we don't know. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's gonna break up with her at some point this week. So, I called Dibs and Steve. You can't call Dibs. Well, I do. So, you're gonna have to get online. <sighs> I mean, you both you don't have a chance. Why, are you hot for him or something? No, I'm not hot for him. Steve, really? No. I mean, like, we're all still in high school. He's graduated. 
but he moved on. That's weird. Don't pull like a Cameron and Jessica and go off and be with some older guy. It's only a year age difference. What's it matter? <sighs> Fine. Don't take my advice. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, you guys got any like drama or something? You know, because I've shared my part. No, I haven't heard anything for weeks. This school is so dry. Literally. <laughs> well, I better get to class. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, see you later. Bye! You couldn't believe what you just heard. Steve was gonna leave you for Nancy? Your best friend? At first you thought Steve would never do it to you. But then you started to think maybe he would. Him and Nancy had been hanging out a lot recently. Like, a lot. <laughs> and you thought that was suspicious. But you didn't want to ask about it because you thought it would be a little weird and Steve might get mad at you, you know, for even coming with the whole fact just that he would cheat on you. But now you weren't sure. You were upset and disappointed and you couldn't believe that Steve would ever do something like this to you. You didn't care about the rest of school. You just packed up your stuff and went home. Hey, Dustin, have you seen Listener anyway? No, I don't think I've seen her at all today. Why? She was here earlier, but I can't find her anywhere. I've been looking everywhere. She's not at her locker. I've checked the bathrooms. Don't know why she's been here. The classrooms. The class is over. She's at the cafeteria. She's not there. Maybe you should have to come home or something. She seemed fine, though. Like, why would something just suddenly come up? These things happen, Max. These things happen. I'll just go call her. I'll see you later. See you later. Max walks out to the front of the school to use the phone and call you. But there was no answer. Just straight to voicemail. So she thinks to herself, maybe you're with Steve. Hey, Steve, is listener with you? No, she's not. Why? She's not at school? She was, but she left. I can't find her anywhere. What do you mean she left? She wouldn't just ditch school. She's not Eddie. Yeah, I know that, Steve. Kind of worried. There's no way she just suddenly got sick and left. I mean, she was fine when she got here and fine throughout the day, but then she just left. And I tried calling her, but straight to voicemail. Maybe she was in the shower or something and she couldn't pick up her phone? Maybe, um, I don't know. Can you just make sure she's okay? Yeah, I'll head over there now. Thanks, Steve. Sure. I'll see you later, Max. See ya. Steve makes his way to your house and he knocks on the door. For your, only for your mom to answer. That's what I meant to say. Also, there's a lot of, a lot of like, mix up in my words. I'm so sorry. I'm just very rambly today. I don't know what, it, like, what it's all about, but you know. Hey, Steve, what are you doing here? Uh, hi, is Listener in? She said she left, Max said she left school or something. Um, I don't think so. I didn't hear her come in. I mean, the school would have called me if she was sick. Or she would, she would have called me. Do you mind if I check anyway? I mean, like, she might have sneaked through a window or something. Um, yeah, sure. Come in. You're always welcome. Thanks. Steve walks up to your room and sees you're not in there. But he hears someone crying from the bathroom. So he goes in there only to see you curled up on the floor, bawling your eyes out. Hey, 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 listener. Listener, what's going on? What are you doing here? I'm just being school. And why are you on your bathroom floor crying? Hey, look, okay, just calm down, okay? Calm down. Tell them what's going on. What? Bullshit. Okay, bullshit, listener. You know I would never do that to you. I know you've been worried about this whole me seeing Nancy thing, but I promise that's for a totally different reason. I mean, I know I said I wouldn't go to college and all that, but... You know, I've been thinking, and, you know, my dad's been 
bugging me about it for the past well, few years. <laughs> and I was thinking that maybe it might be best if I went to college. So Nancy's been offering to tutor me. Because I don't, I don't have like a, what, <laughs> they would never accept me in college. So Nancy's helping me get up my grades because there are some like exams I need to retake. Because it did fail like two, but, and those two will help me get into college. And that's what I want for me, for us. So I can, you know, quit my job at video. I can, you know, get a better job and, you know, support our future. <laughs> for when we're older. Because at first I didn't think much of it, but then I thought, like, high school's over. I'm going to need to start, like, supporting myself and you and... You know, when we get older, probably gonna like what? Have a house, a dog, a cat, a hamster, <laughs> or even kids. And I would never leave you to be with Nancy. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. I promise those kids are being ridiculous. They're assholes. They just like to gossip about everything. There's no one in this world but you. You're the only one I care about. And you're the only one I want. Yes, I promise. Cross my heart. <laughs> I love you and you only. Come here. Yeah, you could use a hug. <laughs> now we don't have to do anything for the rest of the day. We can either stay here, or we can go to my house, we can chill, watch a movie, and just calm the mood down. Let me happy. Okay. As long as you're okay, then I'm fine. Come on, let's go up off this floor, because it's cold, <laughs> and it's dirty. I'm not saying you're dirty, I'm just saying, you know, floors are naturally dirty. You know, you walk all over them, and you know, you spill things on them. <laughs> okay, we don't, we only have this debate about floors, okay, come on. And with that, you and Steve spend the rest of the day cuddling up in your bed, watching movies and eating snacks that your mom brings up for you. And have a great time. Anyway, that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I plan to bring more Steve onto my channel very soon, and I'm sorry for not bringing Steve back, but I am also introducing Kurt later on. I might get to filming it now. Who knows? But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. <laughs> bye bye. <coughs> <laughs> well, I actually just choked. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>